So it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Back to Nigeria. Mm. Came back since on Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, welcome to the Sports Buffet on Elevated TV Radio. I'm going to, I'm back to sweaty Lagos again. Uh, okay, when we all finally do the movement, I think the sweating will stop. We would have, uh, we'll have our AC installed. We're moving house, so it's a bit kind of like uh, critical, a bit crazy, you know, the whole setup, the whole, okay, everybody's already sending messages, asking questions. The show has started, All right? Let's get on. Yeah, guys, how are you doing? Has it been away from Nigeria? Those of you back here, how's it been? Those of you in the diaspora, I greet you guys specially. Yes, I greet you guys specially. I think this light is uh, giving us a uh, bad reflection. Bad reflection, yeah. I don't really think I can fix it now. So let's leave it there. So how are you? I think I need to first off get to talk to everybody. Tosili Madi, yeah, I'm back. I am really, really back. I'm back and I've been trying to uh, do a couple a few things and then put things back together. All of this equipment I will carry just trying to unbox them and then re reinstall them and then rebox them again because we have to move with them and all that. But hey, let's keep our fingers crossed and see how it goes. How is everything with you guys? Uh, let's start with some of the stories, the headlines. And um, the biggest question I am asking, who's the next manager for Liverpool? Yes, where would the next manager, the next Liverpool manager come from? And the reason why that question is asked, this is the headline that I woke up to this morning on the Daily Mail. Excuse me. On the daily meet, Abby Alonso would not succeed Jurgen Club at Liverpool with Anfield icon set to snub interest from Reds and Bayern Munich to stay at Bayern Leverkusen as Ruben Amorim emerges as favorite to go. Favorite, sorry, favorite to go. I don't know where he's going, whether he's going to Bayern or he's going. We will see on the story. I'll tell you guys that uh, Manchester United and Newcastle refusing to compromise over Dan Ashworth. Uh, plus, how the Premier League could end up with six teams in the Premier League. Uh, in the Champions League, sorry, next season, ahead of the game, Manchester United and uh, Newcastle can't agree. Why can't Manchester United go look for someone else anyway? Manchester United wants to sign Juventus defender Gleason Bremer for £51 million pounds and could include Mason Greenwood as part of a swap deal. Well, the bad one is now becoming uh, an asset in conversation. Rodri and Declan Rice are said to do battle in Manchester City and Arsenal's title clash uh and uh sorry in Arsenal in Manchester City and Arsenal title clash but which of the Mifidas triumph in the statistics no 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 for football na Rodri for statistic it could be it could be anybody but for football na Rodri well uh, you guys can agree or disagree for as long as we don't insert ourselves okay Everton boss Sean Dykes hope uh their last charge for breaking the Premier League spending rules is fast track and comes to nothing Bayern Munich's Honorary President Huli Yunus claims tempting Zabi Alonso to the club will be probably impossible this summer. I don't know why he said that, but there could be a reason why he said that. Well, all of that uh, and more are what we're going to discuss. And I'm going to give you a recap. Whatever question you ask about, you have to ask about our trip to to Germany, uh, to Ghana. Please put it forward. I'm obliged to answer you because you guys are leaders of the community. We do what we do because you guys are there. Imagine if uh, we were doing all of this and there's nobody viewing and there's no subscribers. We would have packed up our bags and probably I'll be selling gala or pure water in traffic right now. Mrs. Sedaf is looking at me like, yeah, well, uh, when push comes to shove, a man has got to do what a man has got to do to be able to sustain, feed, and keep his family going. And if it means going on the street, why not? As long as it's not illegal. And RB, RB Leipzig, Wonder Key, two Premier League strikers, and Europe most productive forward. Uh, May Sports reads the 10 men shortlist of strikers that Arsenal Chief Edu is eyeing for the Gunners this summer. How can you have a list of 10 uh, just to sign maybe at the end of the day one? And you know, the funny thing, if I know Arsenal the way I know Arsenal, I know that this new Arsenal is different. Well, you know, I'm a student of pattern. And if I know Arsenal the way I know Arsenal, and if Arsenal behaves the way they normally behave, they'll give you a list of 10. Uh, they'll go and sign somebody outside of it. You know how they'll be chasing Gonzalo Higuain and everybody in Arsenal is already counting the number of goals he will score at the end of the season. And then they go and sign Francis Jeffers. 
okay? Or they'll be telling you they want to sign Luis Suarez and you are happy. Ah, Luis Suarez just come now, eh? Fabrica just give a pass. Well, okay, pay with Robbie Vap eh, Rob No, Robbie Vapes has gone to my night said, just have Luis Suarez and then the title is won. Then they'll end up bringing a contract extension for Lord Brett now. And, and this same pattern, even though there's a new Arsenal, but if you look at this Arsenal, there are certain similarities. Remember when they were talking about Mohamed Kudus? They went on to extend the contract of Eddie Nketiah and extend the contract of uh, Riz Nelson, who are two Oboris in the team. But hey, it is what it is. We've got to look at all of that and talk. I mean, it's Friday. We'll just, I mean, you know how Friday show is. Friday show is for fun. It's for excitement, questions on sports and outside of sports. So it's all your show. And I wanted to wait till Monday before I resume, but I felt like, okay, Friday is the people's show. Get the show on. Man City will be out of the title race if they lose to Arsenal. Is that true? That's according to Chris Sutton. Okay, the other pair of Alan Shera uh, that led them to the title and eventually went to Chelsea, where they just didn't do too well. But you know, Chris Sutton, I've always had to say, there's a podcast called All Kicking Off uh, as he hit at at their surprising record against top-of-the-table rivals this season. They've not really done well against the top teams, uh, like Arsenal used to be, but hey, it is what it is. Exclusive interview by Daily May uh, revealed Todd Bowley, uh, the Chelsea owner, will be removed as Chelsea chairman in 2027 as majority owner Clark Lake planned to switch to new figurehead. Okay, so we don't know what that means, but Chelsea fans, that could just mean that your sofa will be there for 600 years. It could also mean that things are about to turn. But can you wait for 2027 for Chelsea to begin to wake up? I mean, is that not really a long time away? I don't, I don't know, but I'm just... This is me just asking those questions. And if you guys also have questions to ask, I'm open. Yeah, let's get the talking going. Okay, so let's start with... Uh, with some of the stories uh, that, as it is written. Let's start with... I think I'm going to, I'd rather start with the Jabi Alonso story. That interests me more. And then I'll go to the Arsenal uh, uh, shortlist and then see what they mean by 10 strikers shortlist. Why does Arsenal need a, stri a striker shortlist of 10? Well, let's read the story of Jabi Alonso. Why they say Jabi Alonso will not go to Liverpool or Bayern. I'm thinking this is a filter that's come out to like put people off the, off the focus. And then before you know it, one of those two will sign him. They said they told us at some point that, uh, what's his name? It's not going to to be at, uh, uh, Jay, what's that guy that went from sports to, that went from sports to Bayern? They said uh, Harry Kane was not going to go again. In short, as a, as a point, they were so dramatic. They said they stopped the plane from taking off as like, okay, private jet. You just, who be sports? We go stop a private jet on the wrong way. What's all that nonsense drama about? Hey, he left his wife, blah blah blah. So many talk, but eventually he's a he's a Bayern player. So all of this, I sometimes I just think it adds up to the drama, to the energy, to the news, the whole clickbaiting thing, and all that. But let's, I mean, let's have a conversation. That's why we're here. Liverpool have been dealt a serious blow in their search for a new manager when Xabi Alonso, the run, the front runner for the job turned them down. The former Reds midfielder 42, so I see now Xabi Alonso had been strongly linked with... What am I doing with my life? Eh? Xabi Alonso is there winning... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Pierre Pred oh, oh, my mental head. Oh, I have to keep myself. Ta! Nonsense. <laughs> Ta! Come on, shoot. Okay, the former Reds midfielder 42 had been strongly linked with replacing Yogi Club at Anfield, but he now plans to stay with runaway German league leaders Bayern Leverkusen. This is the same Bayern Leverkusen that said they will not block him if he wants to leave. But now story don't change. Matters. My money don't change now. Now wow. Well, mm. The bombshell leaves Sporting Lisbon manager Ruben Amorim as the leading candidate alongside Brighton's Roberto De Zerbi. Amorim is 39. is expected to be giving an interview after he scored well on Liverpool's data test. Now, there's something I want to also mention about age and the formation, the change formation of age. Now, we see 16-year-old, 17-year-old, 18, 19-year-old playing in European senior national teams and even Brazilian national teams, as we saw with Hendrik and the rest of them. But in Nigeria, if you suggest now that, okay, well, now that we're having creative midfield problem, instead of having 
a Joe Aribo come in and you know that you, you will not be confident enough to play him. And even when you play him, he will not add any value. He will be like... Uh, Let me see that for there. Uh, uh, let me just say this thing and a whisper. It will be like this lip thing that Mrs. Sedafi give to me now. Eh? Uh, you know, for her mind, it's like, oh, it's curing something. For me, I'm just drinking water. I'm just drinking colored water. Instead of bringing a jar ribu, if you now suggest, okay, we should bring in, uh, there's a boy called Lu uh, Lucian Abisheson that plays for Remo Stars, or even bring uh, Inter Milan's uh, Ebenezer, uh, uh, what's his other name now? Ebenezer King Samiru. They will tell you, oh, no, he's too young. Let him match out first. He don't, cannot carry the pressure of the national team. Those countries that are using Pedri, are using Hendrik, are using uh, Minao, I'll be able to be named Minao. That one that plays for England now, that also plays for Man United, I'll be able to be named. Those people that are using those people to, to play in their national team, are we really better than them? Can we compete against them? How is it that they are able to do it and we're not doing it? I said, no, no, it's not old enough. It's not mature. They never get maturity. Okay. Maturity. Mature people are the use. So, well, Amarim39 is expected to be giving an interview after he scored well with Liverpool data team. Uh, Bayern Munich had declared their desire to recruit Alonso. Perhaps a tactics to unsettle Leverkusen's uh, title tilt, but club president Uleone said yesterday it will be probably impossible to bring the Spaniard to Munich this year. He added, Alonso is also inclined to stay at Bayern Leverkusen in view of their current success because he would not want to leave them behind but i think if he wins the title this season he should also realize that he's not going to win the title next season but if he goes to buy and definitely they would uh bounce back and then they'll win the title what it does for him is uh it would uh, be on his cv that he's won league titles with multiple clubs and that's a very good one in case you don't know let's say if he had two or three more years of success it would probably be easier to get him out of there liverpool recruitment drive let led by new sporting director Richard Uj and CEO of football Michael Edward, now focuses on Amorim and De Zabi, whose Brighton side visit Anfield on Sunday. Alonso, who was seen as Liverpool's dream target, has overseen a revolution at Bayern Leverkusen since joining in October 2022 when they were battling relegation. When he signed up, they were in the relegation zone, but instead them into top six. Uh -huh. That's how they qualify for the Europa. Uh, this campaign, they are 10 points clear of Bayern Munich at the top of the Bundesliga, unbeaten all season into the last eight of uh, the Europa League for a second year running. It has been a historic season with Leverkusen on course to leave their first Bundesliga title barring any, any altercation or an almighty breakdown of grandiose proportion. I mean, they had all those grammars, so they're not there for the right to And they have only considered 18 goals in the process. After cutting his teeth for three seasons with Real Sociedad B, he has re-energized the Rhein club and won 50 of his 75 games in charge, only losing 10. Even as St. Venga, they unbeaten the invisible. He not reached this one. This one is beyond compare. Liverpool were expected to complete the uh, compete with Bayern Munich for his signature, given that Thomas Tuchel would depart the, the latter in the summer. Well, that competition does not exist because the both of them are not qualified. According to the story, and since can still change, think I say open behind the scene. Bayern are facing the prospect of their first season without winning a trophy since 2011-2012. Man, that's a 12th season. For the 11 consecutive title wins uh, and have thus deemed to cause surplus to requirements. Remember, just about a year ago, I said Thomas Tuchel will end up being the coach that breaks the winning run of Bayern Munich, even though Thomas Tuchel have won the Champions League, is one of those coaches that I put in the Ogbori category. Not be every coach who don't win Champions League is a big coach. Roberto Di Matteo in 2012 won the Champions League with Chelsea. So not be every Champions League winning coach be a great coach. Some not just a be, they are just lucky. Uh, I know that I'm also one of those who always say that luck does not play any part in football, but that's in the game. In the, in the coaching side, some people are just lucky. This is one of those ones. And I do not rate Thomas Tuchel highly. Uh, if you rate him highly, no verse. I'm not here to offend you. I'm just saying my own. 
Liverpool's attention now turns to Amorim and the Zabi at the top of the shortlist, both candidates boasting considerable credential. As a Liverpool fan, would you want Amorim? Amorim is doing a good job where he is. Uh, Roberto Di Zabi, this does look to me like another Grand Potter. The only difference, uh, the only difference is not an Englishman, so there is hope. Because uh, when you're not an Englishman, your chances of winning things with any club in England is very easy. As a matter of fact, you can come to England before you learn how to speak English, you've won the league. That's why I will categorically state here that the English league is not a world-class league, as people say. But it's a media powerhouse. I agree. I can't even... I, no, there is nothing that the English league in over 30 years, 32 years to be exact, eh, I've been able to get right. In 32 years, refereeing is still terrible. They've been doing VAR now for this is the fourth or fifth season. They've still not been able to get it right. So many things are not right. But the packaging, almighty, oh, Lua. The, the people where they package for EPA, now they're also the package APC. The packaging of APC, huh? Oh, God, uh, they put one person for their eight years who brought us from top to bottom. And uh, we're bala blowing now. No, I don't have anything to say right now. For they go and lock me up. But uh, you know what I'm saying. The Zabi Amorim is already led uh, Sporting CP to one Portuguese league title, and they are top of the table again this uh, this time around. The Zabi guided Brighton to sixth in the Premier League last season and got them to the last sixteen of the Europa League in their median continent adventure. The Seagulls uh, will visit Anfield on Sunday. The time to show. You guys, this is what we're made of. Uh, the Zabi, it will be good if you beat them. It will be good for us. But as now, you also do your job by beating Man City. But it will be good, very, very good, if Brighton are able to brighten their light well, turn your light down low. You say, no, we're brightening it up. And uh, put your lighters up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is the time where Brighton comes up and say, put your lighters up. You brighten the whole place and burn out uh, Liverpool. But let's see how it goes. Alonso could still manage against uh, Liverpool this season with the Messi side outfit and Leverkusen both through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. They are on opposite sides of the draw, meaning they could meet in the final on May the 22nd. Well, let's see how that goes. Reports in Germany this month had claimed that Bayern were ahead of Liverpool in the race to hire Alonso, why former Liverpool sports uh, presenter Richard, why former Sky Sports presenter, sorry, Richard Case claimed earlier this week that the 42 year old manager had decided to move to Liverpool. So, who they talk through, who they lie. Okay, if I mean now they would just say, I don't know which I do. Well, uh, now you both people won't they fall in love with or whether they never made a mistake now that they do all those also. Yeah, it is, it, it, it now appears that neither Bayern or Liverpool will get their man. Bayern honorary president Holy Honest added i personally we all extremely appreciate zabi alonso but you mustn't forget that he is not training at a club that is currently in the process of becoming german champion bayern could reportedly turn to raf ragnac you either have it or you don't have it you are either pregnant or you're not pregnant you remember that guy Manchester united as their successor to Thomas Tuku, something Manchester United fans might have 18 or two to say about. Rangnat, the current Austria manager, spent six months okay, as United's interim boss in 2021-2022 season, staring them to sixth and worst point total in their Premier League history. Well, uh, the way this season is looking like, uh, that Rangnat uh, uh, season, might just look good. So, my people, I'm asking you, now that these stories are coming out, now that the conversation is like this, where do you think Liverpool will get a coach from? Where do you think they will, you know, get their manager from right now? Because it's not looking like, not the way they think I'm not be so it be a game. Uh, because it was cut and dry before it was easy. Yeah, they're they going to get Zabi Alonso, Zabi Alonso, come and steady the ship. But I said it from the beginning that if I was Zabi Alonso, there is no way in this world, on this planet, on God's earth, that Mio will go to Liverpool. The reason being that, not that Liverpool is not a good club. Try and understand. It is very, very rare. Very, very rare. Not like it doesn't happen. No. It happened with um, uh, uh, Maximilio, Maximiliano Allegri taking over from Antonio Conte. It happens sometimes. But it is very, very rare to succeed an extremely overtly super successful manager take over the job and meet up to his performance you have to wait for people to come in decline the curve you know if you do forest or you do stock trading and all that businesses you know what i'm saying you have to wait for them to come decline fail 
They will not say, oh, we are failing. You are not the... Because right now, you're not coming to rescue. You're coming with an expectation that, look, see, see what we do. We need you to build on it. And that, in itself, is the biggest problem any manager faces. It's just like when Una Emery came to take over from us, from Wenger. I said it. I said, listen, Una Emery is a great coach. He's a great manager. Fantastic guy. But uh, he will struggle in England because communication is going to be a problem. But beyond communication. But wait, so why don't I view this team and then the like button? We never do things where we say make on suppose like the channel. We just came back from Ghana. We just came from the abroad. We want to show us some love now, shoe. Eh? Yes, we're grateful. We're not for 10K. We're not stuck in 12K. By the time three weeks ago, where we left this place and went to Ghana, we're 12K 910 on the sixth, where we left this country. Now we are 14K plus. Show us some love now. Shoe. Put some respect to the name. We are some red skirts. Let's be the 14K and 94. Now, within uh, six more people subscribe to this channel, will be 14,100. Eh? Guys, I'm going to show some love now. We, 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 we use three weeks. In case you don't understand what I'm saying, how important. We spent between 2007. Yeah? Between 2017. Sorry, not 2007. What am I saying? Between 2017 eh, and the day before we went to to ghana we had 2.9 million views between 2017 just three weeks in ghana we were able to accumulate 1 million views guys guys show some show some respect we put in some work we put in some shift all of those people used to send me message and say that hey, you guys are not moving no you guys are not doing anything no you just, you just say that this work god you just say god call you so i mean you call god at, at least now you know that let's say there's a calling somewhere and we call each other you understand me? God called me and I, call, I saw his miss call and then I called him back and then he was busy in the meeting. He has not picked the call yet because if you don't pick the call, we could not do 10 million. And you know, if, once God put, you know, say that that's if God, the master, my God, they run your campaign. And if God put out for your matter, even the devil said, would they, would they help they share your flyer? You gotta share your flyer. Say, let it be. Now this guy, now the one way God don't choose. Uh, and so it always be. So we call each other, we miss each other call. When I call God, he miss my call. So he called call me back, but that's how they, I've been there meeting. I see the call, the ring goes, not God. I just say, God, don't wait first. But I finish the meeting. When I finish the meeting, I call her back. He also did meeting. He did take care of uh, waiting up for Gaza. He did help fix Gaza problem so that no more killing. Okay, let's do that. I don't say church people go sorry, blaspheme now. Because I need to add now. Uh, for for when I did God, need a joke. If we go there, we laugh now about over religious people. I thought the black fam. What does it feel like? Because of come up 40,000, you they bring God into the matter. God did everything and everything. God did. Even when you go do bad things, God is involved. Forget. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for that at with me. The question is, what you go do for them? But God did with them. So God did with everybody. He did with all of us. Uh, my numbers go up, God deal with me. If my number did that, God deal with me. That's why that's why I just say, when you actually let's come back again to the conversation. So, if you are the Liverpool body, the Liverpool people, or the, you are to suggest to those guys, those new newbies that have been with Liverpool before, they fired them because they did not want to work with a uh, young club, they now left now, they are back because your club is leaving. You know, understand? Yeah, uh, who would you bring? Not forget say, of those two people, there is a little caveat reading between the lines you will know so so these two people that um, that uh, are planning to come back that are not back to run liverpool let me let me highlight it for you people so that you people will know uh, uh ruben amorim i've worked with one of them before yeah uh, where's these two names now? Uh, Jesus Christ, so I can't go. That's why I need all those sometimes. Okay, Liverpool's recruitment drive led by new sporting director Richard Huge and then CEO Michael Edwards. Now, let's let's balance the conversation. This one is not written, though, but let me. Use my job as an analyst to balance it, man. I this swear to Jesus. What are the command my body? I need to connect my body to water tank. Now, Richard Hughes had worked with Amorim before. Michael Edwards had worked with the Zebi. No, uh, Michael Edwards had worked with Amorim's agent before in Aki Abilti Column. Richard Hughes had worked with Roberto De Zebi. Try and understand where I'm going with this, so, so that when Tinubu is appointing people from the southwest, you would understand that everywhere for the apple. After us, the great and legendary Sales Ferguson appointed 
a Scottish man, uh, Scottish Isoko man, Moye, to take over from himself. Moye ended Man United in seven. Now, since that time, Moye virus, they for Liverpool, uh, Man United, but they never fear escape Now, so these guys are naturally, people like to work with the people that they know. Jabi Alonso will walk in, and these guys have also worked with Jurgen Klopp. Now, try and try and understand. The both of them have worked with Jurgen Klopp. They got to a point where Jurgen Klopp became too powerful. Jurgen Klopp had to force them to resign. The same thing as Wenger did at Arsenal. The same thing Silas Ferguson did at Manchester United. I'm, I'm, I'm building this pyramid for you to see it from outside of the stories that they're letting you see. I'm, I'm, I'm collecting. I'm bringing the parts together. So... Richard Huge or Michael Edward knows that if Zabi Alonso walking through that door, he's not going to be answerable to them. He's going to be answerable to the fans and to himself. First off, I'm coming as a winner of the Bundesliga for a club that is called Never Cruising. They can never win anything. They're not good enough. I came there and I did it. And if eventually did it by not losing a single game in the season... It would have put Bayern Munich to shut up. That even in all their imperious, incredible success, they didn't do unbeaten. Now, that guy walks in through the door, come to Liverpool. Again, it might be a problem for Richard Huge and Michael Edwards. Now, no matter how big your CV is, you want to stay on a big job for long. You don't want to be on a job and the next minute you're looking for another job again. Nobody likes it. Let's be very honest. That security that comes with working in a high-profile job is very, very good. Yes, there's also a good one that comes with owning your own business like I'm facing. But the first 10 years of that owning your own business, you go suffer. Like I know, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm doing a show inside AC, inside heat now. now. You know what I'm saying? Now they suffer with that. But eventually, the result would, uh, they would tell. It's like pregnancy and childbirth. Right? So they might just not be on the inside or not be averse to Javi Alonso coming. That's one part. Then the other part is Richard Hughes would want his man uh uh michael edwards who wants his man as well so that's the dichotomy of amorim and the zabi and then we might get to the place where if my can no go go straight you don't go go straight to the two of us go go ben ben like that so we can't enter ben bella that's how they created the name ben bella and i go to ben bella now for that another new name will pop up but i'm asking you guys be the jury be the judge be the prosecutor and the defense attorney tell me make a case for any of the coaches, whether it's Amorim, whether it's Dezabi, or even a reason to go back to Alonso and sell the club to, to him and say, look, you need to come in. You're a club legend. You won the Champions League in 2005. You remember what happened at Istanbul. You know the memories, your ghost people. I know that you play for a lot of clubs. You play for Bayern Munich. You play for Real Madrid. You are a football uh, encyclopedia. Your father was a coach. You played under coaches like Roberto Benitez. I'm sorry. Uh, where's it? Uh, Rafael Benitez, Jose Mourinho, Pep Guardiola, Carlo Ancelotti, bring all of that anointing of the Most High. Because now you are Zambia, Zambia Alonso of the Most High. Come to Liverpool and take us to the next level. Because uh, your club might just be a John the Baptist, and you will just be our Yeshua Amashiach, the Messiah that takes us to treble, winning treble, winning quadruple. If you can do it with um, Leverkusen, then you can come to Liverpool, Liver. Cousin, liver, poo. We know we 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 have something similar. You seem to like to eat liver. We will cook uh, Scotsy's rice with liver for you, and everything uh, blend together. You know what we're saying? Yeah. Okay. Am I am I sounding like madman now? What's that? Who's laughing? At, who's laughing at laughter? Come on, yourself. Don't oh, get me pissed off because small small thing I invest me. Uh -huh. I'm just asking asking my question in my only two way, and then. My, my computer my computer just started laughing okay so think about that one now let's get past that one let's go to us now Ooh, i got two more minutes of my time in this discussion mm -hmm. let me read the asana story for you people uh, let's look at it asana's electrifying scoring uh output in 2024 as reportedly not detached sporting director edu gaspar gaspar the friendly ghost okay from compiling an extensive list of striking target for this summer i don't know if he's playing uh russian roulette with everybody giving us all this uh hyperventilated, you know, energy, and then at the end of the day, they will do what Asna used to do. Among them are familiar names like Premier League, uh, uh, no, names to Premier League fans, even Tony, Alexander Isaac, and Victor Omavudu, I get coconutted, Osime, have been linked with the North London Club in recent transfer windows. Nami Tokam, when I don't go to a racism, yeah, hey. if Napoli people talk on racism, but if it's like America, if American black people talking nigger, not be what, not be probably whiteness. But again, Victor Simon, I post for your own social media platform before say I get coconuted. So remember, no, 
before you come and cancel me with my small 14,000 people, Mark, let the air. So don't call me and cancel me. But you never, I never reach to cancel. People that they cancel, people get like 200 million subscribers. You can cancel 100 million. Come on. No, this is my, four, this is my small 14. Where I so forget. When I don't call cancel me, I always tell you now. And then they work for local government cancel. And those of now where they cancel people for social media, I just beg you now. Uh -huh. I say, man, I'm a guy, you and a friendly banter, friendly talk, who tell people banter, sir. Uh -huh. Why spotting Lisbon star? And I say that if Arsenal is ever going to sign striker, this is the guy they will sign. But hey, let me just talk. These two names, these next two names, are the two names that I think Arsenal should sign. But knowing Arsenal, they might go and sign one Agbe if he comes. Okay. Why spotting Lis Lisbon star, Victor Gaikores, and Arabi Leipzig pair of Benjamin Shesko? I like this guy too. And Lois Openda. Op Penda is another Lukaku. He scores when you don't need him to score, and he wastes his chance when you need him. You need him to bail you out. So I cannot bank on him. No way. 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 Okay. But hey, let's leave it there. Luis Openda have made headlines with staring performances this term. I agree, but I don't need him at Arsenal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's put it forward. But there remain a host of other options who could walk through the doors at the Emirates that fans will be intrigued to uncover that if successful could prove to be another notch on the increasingly impressive belt of Arsenal transfer shift. Yeah, Sporting Mail, you know, look at the 10 man drawn up by the Brazilian and assess their suitability for Mikel Arteta ever improving side. Okay, that's good. All these glowing terms that they used to describe us now. I like it, but until they win anything, they are nothing yet. Brentford star, his name is Ivan Tony. Starman is uh, probably the name at the top of most Arsenal fans wish list. No, no, it's not. And uh, for good reason, in his second Premier League campaign, last time, the 28-year-old scored 20 goals. A tally only battered by Allen Haaland and Harry Kane. Okay, but he's 28 years old. He comes in next season, he's going to be 29. Arsenal doesn't need old man in the squad right now. Okay, please, nigga, move away. Uh, Tony's form would likely have been... I've seen him depart the bees last summer, if not for an eight-month ban for breaching rules, okay, on betting. Now back in action, he has not jumped four times in 10 appearances and his recent performance for England where he scored his median goal at international level for the heightened a superb all-round game. Atenta has shown a willingness to adapt his style, but if he was to continue with a system that primarily favors advanced inside forward, his central striker needs to be able to contribute in the build-up. That's Tony uh with just one year remaining on his deal at the g tech stadium he might also be one of the cheaper options on the list well cheap article they pay in Bel -Air. if you grow up in worry you will know the saying cheap article he they pay in Bel -Air. okay alexander isaac the one that i don't like he runs like somebody who have a, a avocado pier in his inside his blockers i don't like him he plays like who have big blockers and sometimes he score goals sometimes he, he waste them okay this is another this is now darwin Nunes in black skin okay uh, Arsenal were linked with the Newcastle striker back in his younger days at Real Sociedad when he um, comparisons to Terry Henry that was the one that everyone annoys me that's why I don't want Arsenal to have him we're abundant but the money to sign him was not forthcoming several years on Isaac is not as in demand but has more to do with the injuries problem that have blighted him since his 60 million pounds move uh, in 2022 when fit the Sweden international has produced some jaw-dropping moment for Mark Pice. I don't need players who, who have jaw-dropping moment. I want players who do it on a consistent basis. And then injuries and Arsenal, they are not very, very good. Uh, they are like uh, Demon Possess and Nigerian Pastors. They do contortion a lot. and So they don't do healing. They just do drama. I don't want it. Still, uh, only 24, he matches the age profile. That's the only thing that is good about him. Of the Gunner squad. And despite Newcastle ambition of joining the likes of Arsenal at the Premier League top table for, with Eddie Howe as their coach. Eddie Howe's side will likely be faced, forced to sell a major talent to avoid financial sanction. This offers Arsenal the chance to make do on a glaring oversight of an otherwise impressive recent recruitment record. Isaac looks to looks a perfect fit for Ateta team. Now lie. It doesn't look a perfect fit. You're just doing marketing with your write-up. His passing, creativity, dribbling prowess, of course, his ability on the ball in the back, his ability to the ball in the back of the net to put the ball. Now, no right way. Now, me write another so our English no good. English, but not write English. Would make his arrival at the Emirates a frightening prospect for the rest of the league. Wait, how many goals does he have? 
How many goals that you have? Now, this is my man. This is the one that I want. Sporting Lisbon are desperate to keep hold of Guy Corres, who they signed for a club record 20 million pounds in the summer. He has fired them to the top of the Portuguese league, has 36 goals in 39 games in all competition, and is regarded uh, so highly that they reportedly turned down 73 million pounds bid from Chelsea for him in January. Well, Chelsea can still come again because anything that's not like Chelsea likes. Okay, the 25-year-old has also registered 14 assists, heightening his eye for the final pass. Additionally, the Swede is in the 99th percentile among strikers in Europe for mm, short creating actions, progressive carries, successful take-ons, and touches in the opposition balls. The only sincere objection that can be made to his ridiculous record is the level of competition. Guy Corres is playing outside a top five European, uh, a top five league, and while free scoring in Europe, his five goals in nine games have come in its second tier competition. Guy Corres could quote rightly point to, could quite rightly point to how he has improved in every season of his career, but ultimately, if the Portuguese side uh, demand the kind of sums they turn down from Chelsea, it's hard to see Arsenal pursuing him above others in the list, okay? So his chances of making it to Arsenal is 6 over 10. Now, this is the one that Nigerians like to hear. But I will tell you here, me, I'm telling you here, this guy is not going to end up at Arsenal. He's not saying it's not happening. He's not, okay? Thank you, Mrs. Zidafi, uh, for the energy, energy drink. As far as, far as I call it, that's Agbo. Yes, the Napoli striker stock has uh, unquestionably fallen in the last 12 months after a breakout 2022-2023 season in which he became the first African footballer to win the Campionari and help fire the Napolitanians to a first league title in 33 years. This guy should be given the title of the Ikakaraka Ikokoroko one of Italian football and the entire Amoritis kingdom. Okay. But let's move on. Let's see how things go step by step, one after the other, and see the movement that follow all of that, okay? Sometimes people just try to create problem for you where there is no problem, okay? But let's see. Uh, but Osima's 2022-2023 outings, no, I think I've done already. Factors on and off the feed have played a part in the 25-year-old's drop-off and make his 112 million pounds release clause less palatable. Unpalatable, unpalatable. But the Siemens 2022-2023 outing showcase how devastating he can be when steadfastly serviced by the team. Whether that would happen at the Emirates is the biggest question at present. He may be the worst fit, okay? He does not possess the passing and link up ability of any of the strikers above however his strengths are unrivaled by any forward operating in europe football today signing him would be a risk and would necessitate a major shift in ateta's attacking game plan but there is plenty of room for the nigerian to grow under a stewardship of the arsenal boss his chances five over ten well, I don't have all the time in this world on this conversation. Your comments are plenty. I wish to read a few of them because the light, Nigeria is happening right now. And uh, since our UPS is crying, it's going to go off anytime soon. Let me look at some of your comments. At any point it goes off, we are off the show. Okay. So let's look at a Kingdom Voice. Before we even started the show, I dropped this uh, uh, comment. Kingdom Voice TV says, uh, with Alonso's deal off, let's keep an eye on Thomas Frank. EPL decider is the game at Etihad this Sunday. Only Edu and Teta can tell figure they want going into next summer. Thanks, boss. He had our pressure. Say good morning, boss. Good morning to you. We can't really say who our next manager will be. However, all fingers crossed. We hope Alonso comes through for us. And then he went on to say EPL is uh, far from over. A lot of twists will happen over the weeks to come. We might have to wait for the uh, three teams race to glory. Uh, Tosilima, they say, welcome back. Kenny P, say, happy Easter, bro. Okay, that's true. This is Easter weekend. Forget, forgive me. Uh, who should be the next Eagles coach? Should we go local or foreign? There's no local coach that can coach the Super Eagles. I'm sorry, so let's go foreign. It's not like I'm not supporting local, but there's no local coach that can coach the Super Eagles. The Super Eagles players are close. Next, if they're not going to wish, they buy land near Kovun. So, it's not possible. Ayotunde Olufemi Michael, they say, good morning, bros. Good morning to you. The only way for Arsenal FC to win against Man City is to stick to rise 
and Jorginho midfield. I agree with you on that one. Jorginho midfield and rice is good. A lot of man say Alonso should just move to Bayern. I beg. I don't think he would do well at Liverpool. And some players from Leverkusen will probably move away and he won't be able to repeat the same performance. Tosili Madi says, this Liverpool manager replacement could bring drama to the summer transfer window. Guys, I need to run now. I know there's a lot of messages I've not read, but this light is about to go off. Okay. Olatunji Mana says, same thing I was discussing with my friend. There is no how we dig deep in the league and not find at least one creative midfielder. Tosili Madi says, you're right about to curl. I was scared when Chelsea signed him because he don't do much with the star studded PSG. So winning UCL uh, with Chelsea was a miracle. Here you are, pressure say Brighton win at Anfield. How about boss? Hey, I pray it happens anyway. And then Olaf would say, Good morning, boss. Good morning to you. It's good to hear from you. And thanks for always giving us amazing content. God bless you. Uh, first to like, to see my 23 watching. And uh, we've gotten to the place where I just have to go. Adrian said, why is most journalists are afraid of uh, talking about Finidi and his failure 2-0 against Mali? Well, the most journalist is not me. If you if you see my comment on him, you will know. Finidi George is the guy that I like, but I'm telling you straight away, he cannot coach the Super Eagles. The Super Eagles is too big for him. He's my guy. He's my bros. Okay? Well, you know about call Egbon? He's my Egbon. Right? I'm a family friend to the Finidis, the judges. But, hey! Mm, mm. Super Eagles job, not before him. Professor Rodrigo say, welcome, Chief. Good to have you back. Guys, I need to go now. Time is up for me. There's no light. Nigeria is happening again. Just more Ghana. Ghana abroad that I went. Now nah, I was comfortable with light. I'm here now. Look, I'm struggling with light. I'm sweating everything. Well, thank you very much. And uh, when we move anyway, when we move every two, we sorted out. We are trying to move. It's still a bit uh, stressful. We've got an apartment. We're trying to clean it up and set it up and then move. Well, thank you very much. I hope that your team wins this weekend. Man City lose. Liverpool lose. Will give me joy. But I already have my joy. Agogo, who do me? Oh, there is a Agogo. Agogo. Yay. If I like, when I win. When I like, no win. I'm already a winner. To have one million views in one, three weeks, winner. And the winner is Moa. Meme, meme, meme. Emini. Emini winner. Hey, I'm with Angus. Say money, boss. Say big congratulations uh, to upgrowing algorithm of Elegant TV. Continue to grow in God, grace with beautiful hard work put together thank you very much lord may have not read this for you kimisha lord may i say boss bingo uh, will you say Kyle Walker is top five greatest if, if i bracket you there if i if i bracket you there if i bracket you there you were two weeks ago now you start to watch football Kyle Walker. shut i don't go bye bye why did i even read that thing now why did I read? This? Am I happy that you can? What kind of upcoming? Even when PFF rifle back, playboy passer. Where was that? Ta -ha! Rifle back. We never call the ca the Cafu, the Zambrota. Call people, better people. Oh, they Jody Abba. You never call all of those people in top five. Top five, Bawo. What's all those nonsense now? I beg, shift. Bye bye.